NCI, Tall Bay NCI, Tall Bay NCI. Here is the current weather for Tall Bay, issued at 10.02 hours, Saturday the 6th of April 2024. The wind direction is southerly and the strength force is 5. The sea state is moderate. Visibility is good at 5 plus nautical miles and the weather is fair. The barometer reads 997.7 millibars and is rising. The tide is falling. The next low water will be at 11.06 hours. That concludes the weather broadcast from Torbay NCI. Local weather and sea state reports are transmitted every hour from 10.05 hours local time until we close at 1900 hours. The next weather broadcast from this station will be tomorrow at 10.05 hours. Torbay NCI is listening on channel 65. Call us for a radio check. Torbay NCI at Should have just kept filming the other boat because it's turned right round again. It's turned right round again. Uh, it's the train, it's the train. Taking shot of the train. The uh, ferries are not running today, I gather. So
rather, it's hard to tell, it rather looks like they've turned the water off now, doesn't it? I wonder how much fuel they used for that. So I'm sure they uh, <laughs> didn't intend to have it on for that long. The other ship has uh, sort of turned around a bit now also. enough of the blustery grey here. Oh, let's wander about a bit. And a tent still there. fit for the bin really. It wouldn't still be here otherwise would it? It's all looking a little bit rusty on the brake and uh, gear cables. It's mostly intact it seems a shame doesn't it? All right Bear. We're not going that way. <laughs> We're not going that way. No this way. This way. This way. Thank you. Going up. I'm no plant buff, I don't know what they are. They're tiny. But uh, quite pretty. There's a little trace them on the left and right here. Just a hint. Here. A bit of bugs flying about here, is that shown on the camera? That in there must be absolutely full of them. And there's a big cloud of them when I first stood here. They seem to have diminished somewhat. But uh, inside there, it must be absolutely full of them. bugs and <laughs> you I think they might have been clinging to the walls actually as you walk through their spooks and take to the air. Great cloud of them here. I 
week I just had the opportunity to uh, make one of the battery volunteers uh, fully aware of the graffiti issue. Um, the reason being, I feel so guilty, so guilty. You know, after all I've done here and uh, after the, <laughs> the, the love I have for the place, I have been forced into being guilty of having done damage. And I, I can't tell you how bad I feel about that. But I, I'm not going to just ignore it. I won't. Um, another, another comment. Just wait, Bear, mate. Just wait. This, uh, I, I spent a lot of time uh, messing around uh, with that yesterday. With that. Looking it up as best I could, and you know, it was somebody from Brixton College. The top one, it's not quite so clear as to what actually is being spelled there. And when I did look it up, uh, there was nothing revealed. It was there on TikTok, I think it was. Why, why it's got snap here? Because it's not Snapchat, it's TikTok. So I, I don't understand that. I don't know how these things work. Anyway, the top one, I couldn't really find anything worth including in the video. The bottom one, clearly, it was a guy called Josh. I studied the lettering, the handwriting here quite a bit. I compared it to every other bit of graffiti. And to, if I had to give this person the benefit of the doubt, I'd say it wasn't necessarily the same person that's done that as the rest of the graffiti. The jury's out, you know, it could be. That, that's sort of up against the wall and it's impossible to really tell. But there was nothing to scream out, same person. There was nothing to scream it out in the lettering. Sorry, Bear, have I been going on so long? You've given up the ghost and let down there. Good boy. We're going up top, mate. We're going up top. Full survey today. <laughs>